Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In QuickBooks, you can condense the data in your company file to remove old transactions. This removes detailed transactions prior to a specified date and replaces them with general journal entries. It can also remove inactive list records from your company file. This can often improve performance in company files with a high volume of transactions entered. Starting in QuickBooks 2019, you can also choose to remove audit trail data only if desired to help reduce your company file size. To condense data, select File, Utilities, Condense Data from the menu bar. If needed, enter the password for the admin account for the company file. If one hasn't been created, create one in the Sensitive Data Protection Setup window that opens, select a password reset question and enter its answer, and then click the OK button to continue. Then answer the questions in each screen of the wizard that appears and click the Next button to continue through the screens. If using QuickBooks 2019 or later, the first screen lets you select the Keep All Transactions but Remove Audit Trail Info to Date option to only remove audit trail info. To remove transactions from a specified date instead, select the Remove the Transactions you select from your company file option button and then click the Next button to continue. For most condensing processes, select the transactions before a specific date option button in the first or second screen depending on your version of QuickBooks, and then select the date before which to remove transactions from the adjacent calendar dropdown. Be careful not to select the All Transactions option button in this screen, as doing that removes all transactions from the company file. Then continue answering questions in each screen and clicking the Next button until you must back up the company file and begin the condensed procedure. At that point, click the Begin Condense button. During this process, an additional copy of your company file called the Archive Copy is created. The Archive Copy contains a copy of your company's data before any transactions are removed. The archive copy's file name will contain the date you run the condensed process, your company name, and the label copy. You should never use the archive copy for active data entry. You can use the archive copy to run reports for those periods in which transactions have already been condensed. If the condensed process completes successfully, the archive copy and the condensed data files coexist on your disk. To keep a separate archive in another location, you must back up the archive file in a separate backup process. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.